Welcome back for part two of Attack of the Saints on purest difficulty. So you want to hang back here. These guys are going to be talking. One of them is going to call for everyone to like make grid formations and search the fields. And like right as soon as he gives that order to move out, you can just head on over here. And uh, you want to stick to the right and make your way to the shed in the back. I love how creative they they're getting with these missions in this game. Like for example, in this situation, well, let's make sure this guy takes off. You know, in this situation, we're in a cornfield, and there's a scarecrow disguise, which is really good for hiding in plain sight anywhere where you see those stands. And it also helps you to remain a little bit more invisible inside the cornfield. Within reason, of course. Go ahead and run this way. Wait for that guy to take off a little bit further over there. And cut across to this cornfield. But uh, you also gotta stay deep enough in that nobody sees you. There's a couple guys walking around here. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, this is cool, I love this. You don't need to do this, I just was doing it to show it, because it's really cool. But we're waiting for um, a guy that's further back, closer to the tractor, to come walking up this way. And then we're going to set up the first kill for this level. So yeah, he's heading back now. Once he gets about right there, we want to head on over here and rig this generator up and you'll hear crackling because she's still in there flip this switch boom first kills done now you want to head over here I just love this and like what's really great is whether you're disguised or not uh, in the cornfield itself All right yeah as long as this guy's walking this way you should be good to head over here but as long as you're walking in the cornfield you're essentially invisible all that's just them finding her body all they see when you move is the stalks themselves moving so if it seems like you might be getting detected unless you're really close to a guard all you have to do is stop moving and you'll be invisible it's just like in uh, run for your life when you're in the grow house running through all the pop plants so we're going to wait here. Our next target's actually right on the other side of this RV. She's going to come heading this way into the cornfield and we're just going to take her out. So cute! We can just leave her there. Now we're going to create a distraction that allows us to get back across. There's two guards here we got to worry about, so we're just going to distract them real quick with this screwdriver we grabbed when we got the scarecrow disguise and we're just going to head back across the street from over here you actually can go literally from right here for some reason i decided to uh go further back i don't know why i guess i was paranoid about being spotted yeah, yeah you you can turn back the other way there's no need to come down this far if you're going to come down this far you don't need the distraction We're going to double back this way now, towards the uh, final kill, Ms. Vivica Fox. Got to be kind of careful here because there's a guard patrolling to the left. But once you get over here, where nobody can notice you, you can run a little bit again. And you want to actually get to the uh, other end of this field as quick as you can so you can catch this guy right here and take his disguise. I may have actually forgotten to grab his disguise and had to go back and get it. You can dump him in this outhouse as long as you're quick. Yeah, if I remember correctly, when I actually played this, yep, I forgot to grab his disguise, so I'm going to end up having to run back for it in a minute, which is dangerous. Always try to remember to grab, always remember to grab that disguise. Um, then you're going to make your way over here. 
you pick up this dog bone and you're gonna wait for your target to uh, come closer over here and then we're gonna create a distraction but it is advisable to have the guards costume right now and in a second I should realize I forgot it and go back and get it but I'm gonna fast forward to uh, the kill So now she's making her way over here. We gotta wait for her to just get a little bit closer. There she is. Once she gets about right there, you're gonna go ahead and check this bone over here and wait for her to come check it out and then take her out. And then all I have to do from there is make it to the uh, command console there. Conveniently, after you break her neck, there's a container right here to put her body in. She's already dead, so I suppose if you wanted to, you could grind her up. I don't do that because it draws attention. But, uh, yeah, so now you gotta make sure you get that bone pick back up because you have to distract some guys over here in order to make it to the uh, command post to exit. So when this guy makes it about right there, you're going to go ahead and chuck this bone right here. Then you're going to head straight over here to this spot and just wait for it to say why to pick up the phone. And then boom, you're done. Alright, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next episode. Mission fam. 47. Travis. I trusted you. You were given a mission and you betrayed the agency.